I was so blessed um, today when a sister shared an old hymn that I had forgotten and it come out of my mind early on a five o'clock prayer call. It's called The Church is One Foundation. I want to share the first verse and the last verse with you. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing it. That would scare you. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is his new creation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. In the last verse, yet she on earth hath union with God the three in one, and mystic sweet communion of those whose rest is one. O happy ones and holy, Lord, give us grace that we, like them the meek and lowly, on high, may dwell with thee man isn't that beautiful um that jesus sought us to for the church to be his bride the church jesus is the foundation of the church we are the church brother and sister you and i are the church jesus is our foundation and i want to share with you coming off that uh, john chapter 15 starting with verse 5 I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. This is so important. If my words remain in you, how did Jesus' words remain in us? Only by us digging into his word, spending time in his word, asking God to speak through his word, memorizing his words, letting them be written on our hearts. That is how we know him. And today, whatever is on your calendar, whatever is on your platter, if you're taking care of your little ones, if you're going to work, if you are serving others, if you are at home, remember this, there's nothing that we can do apart from Him. Even when we seek to do His work, sometimes we make the mistake of thinking if we're doing God's work, we don't need to seek Him. Apart from Him, we can do nothing. And the call to make disciples, to bear fruit, to bear fruit, fruit that's going to last. I said it a few weeks ago in Discipleship Live when we were talking, and I said corn was a fruit. I'm still living that one out with, with the staff members. But here it is. The fruit that you have on your counter is going to wither away. There's fruit there in the orchards that will never get plucked because the bugs get to it or it withers away before then. But the fruit that's going to last is teaching someone about Jesus so that they have salvation, they have eternity with Him, the promise of those who rest in Him when their work here is done. The promise that we have to rest in Him when our work here is done because of that promise of eternity, because we are the fruit of someone's labor. Who are you sharing the truth of life with today? The eternal truth, the everlasting consequences, much as what we do today is gone tomorrow i don't know about you but as much laundry as i do i turn around there's a full basket it's ever reproducing it's never done it's always there but it doesn't have long lasting consequences me sharing jesus with someone or pouring into someone starting a new c group with some sisters or brothers that need it these are things that we can do to show the world that we are disciples of christ if we live with him and so, brothers and sisters, today, I ask you to do this. Ask the Lord how to remain in Him. Get in His Word so that His Word remains in you. And do something today. Do something to show the world that you are His disciples and that you seek to bear fruit. So, Holy God, we thank you for your Word. And we thank you, God, that you don't send us in the world to do anything apart from you for your Father's glory. We ask right now, God, that you would help us to never turn our eyes away from you. Yet we would seek your word for direction. We would ask your Holy Spirit to order our steps. And that you would allow us to participate in things that have everlasting consequences for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.